Okay, welcome to part five of the technology close out. This is going to be about saving your documents in a flash drive or, dr or in Google Drive. So if you're still one of those people who feel like I need to have it on my flash drive just so I can have it, I can take it home, I can do what I want to do with it, I recommend you getting a flash drive that is at least um, 16 gigabytes or higher. Eight you can kind of get away with, but you have to think about those files that are pictures or videos because those take up a lot of space okay but again you can also move these documents over into your google drive which i recommend because you can use that at home so right now i just plugged in my flash drive and it's really simple you should already know how to do this but in case you don't let's say we're going to use this document right here i'm going to right click on my document let's get rid of this right click on my document send to and then my removable disk is right here or whatever your disk is called it could be bradford's hard drive or johnny's hard drive however you name it it should appear and then you'll click on it and it'll get sent right onto that flash drive as you can see it says that it is copying okay so your document is still here you can always double check that by going into documents start my computer not documents and then looking for your hard drive and there it is 2016 documents it's there okay and then you can just delete so it is deleted so now say you have a huge file like for example the 2016 Harris backup, that's a lot of stuff. What I do recommend is that you save that as a zip file. But we're going to go with something a little bit smaller. We're going to use this Twitter pics, TCCA. Don't forget, TCCA is October 22nd. We're going to right click. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to send to. And then compressed zipped folder. Okay, so now it is compressed. Depending on how many files you got, it will take a little bit. You can also right click on that compressed folder, send to, and put that in your uh, flash drive. Now, let's talk about really quickly putting it into your Google Drive. Really simple. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a little smaller so you can see it I'm going to show you my Google Drive so you can do this in one or two ways you can take your folder and you can left click and hold and simply move it over into your drive notice you can see it halfway it says drop files uh, into my drive Okay, now obviously it's cut off, but you'll see drop files into my drive. It'll copy it right then and there. So I'm just going to let that go so I can just copy it into my drive. You can see that it's going to take a little bit for it to uh, be put in there. And those are just pictures. Again, compressed folders, you can do the same thing. Left click and hold and drag it into the my drive. Okay, now if you have that big huge backup it may take a while so I recommend you come in in the morning and get started have it putting it put it in the background because it may take a little while to do okay so again what I would do with that big file that says the backup hover over your mouse over it right click go to send to compress now you may have some files in there that may not be able to be compressed so you need to go back and take a look just to make sure and then you move that over one thing you also need to make sure everybody is that you may have um, icons that only your iTech can download so if you go to another classroom you don't have those icons you, you got to figure out how you're going to get those downloaded make sure that you write down a list write down a list of the stuff that you had that you need that you had download for example I have things like iStation, I have things like MobiZen, I have IPVO, uh, I have Google Earth. Those are things that the iTech, with permission, I can give you that will not be on that computer. Write those down. And then 
I'll probably create a schedule for you of when I can come in and get those put in. Okay, so that is how you move yourself over to Google Drive or to a flash drive.